It was April 2015. I remember the clouds had been gathering for days, just waiting for the chance to break. The autumn rains are like this, and when it rains it pours. It was no surprise when the water rose and floods cut us off from the main road. It didn't surprise me when the power went out. Who hasn't had the power go out? Who hasn't been left in the dark? I remember that feeling of darkness. Not sitting in the dark, but being utterly engulfed by it. Surrounded. Drowning in darkness. The darkness of the soul. Depression. I walk into rooms and flick the light switches. Nothing happens. I don't really know why I do it. Habit, I guess. But see, I get by without power. The torches come out. Candles. Even my phone. But in the darkest moments of depression, there are no torches. No candles. No phones. Only brokenness. Paul wrote in the Bible that people who follow Jesus were like jars of clay with treasure inside. Clay jars were everyday items. They were easily broken. Over time, they develop cracks or even shatter when they're dropped. I've experienced my share of brokenness. I have cracks, and I've even been dropped once or twice. The thing Paul is saying is the treasure doesn't crack or break. When you see the treasure shining through the jar's cracks, don't put your trust in the jar. Put your trust in the treasure inside. For Paul, this treasure is Jesus living through those who follow him. At another point, Paul writes that God works everything for good for the people who follow him. I think he's acknowledging that we're all broken, cracked people, and God doesn't waste our brokenness. Instead, God creates beauty from brokenness. Kintsugi is an old Japanese art. An artist will take broken pieces of pottery gluing them back together using a mixture of resin and gold to create something that's stronger and more beautiful than before. What if Paul was saying that God was a master Kintsugi artist? Someone who can take broken lives and make them more beautiful? May you come to recognize the scars, chips, and cracks in your life as opportunities to see God create something beautiful. Beautiful.